the power of owner financing. This is Rick Jarman, Real Estate Old School. Now, before I get started, folks, I got to share something with y'all. I got one more Cuban cigar after this. My source has dried up with all this going on. I'm running out. Mm. I probably had to start smoking something else. I hadn't smoked nothing but Cuban cigars for a long time. Anyway, let's get on with what we're going to talk about. The power of owner financing. Let me tell you, the first piece of property I ever bought, I bought a lot to put a mobile home on. I was still in high school. I was a senior in high school. I was 17 years old. I got owner financing. You know, I wasn't that I was that smart and knew much about real estate. My parents had bought a piece of land, put a mobile home on it, and the guy they bought it from financed it. I talked to the same guy. In fact, my brother had bought a piece right behind my parents. Now, the piece I was looking at was down the road, but the same guy owned it. I said, would you finance this for me? He said, sure. I said, well, how much you want down? It's $500. I could swing that. You know, in Alabama, if you're not 21, that contract could be made void. It didn't matter. On the finance, everything's negotiable. He didn't care. I sure didn't care. Made my payments. He knew my parents paid theirs. My brother's paying his. He figured I'd probably pay mine. He was right. owner finance it, everything is negotiable. People ask me, how much do you have to pay down? It's negotiable. How long will they finance it? It's negotiable. How many, you know, it's all negotiable. Did I say that? It's all negotiable. Interest rate, negotiable. Everything. Now we're talking about a true owner financing. We're not talking about routes. We're not talking about bond for titles. If you're going to get a seller to owner finance, they are the bank. They drop a note mortgage just like the bank does. You pay them. You know, it's spell out if there's a late fee and everything, just like if it was the bank. Now, here's the thing. You can get them to finance for 15 years, 30 years, whatever. It's negotiable. A lot of times on owner financing, they'll do it for so many years, and then they'll have a balloon payment payment will be figured out over like a 15 year mortgage, but they'll have a balloon payment in two years or three years or five years. And sometimes they do it the whole 15 years. It's negotiable. It's a very powerful tool for acquired real estate. Now, every piece of property and every seller is not a suspect. That's what I call them, suspect. They're not a prospect, they're a suspect. And here's why. Now, if they've got a big old mortgage on it, they can't own a financing. Now, we're talking about a true owner financing, like I said, not the bond for titles or the wraps. But you may have a person that's an elderly person. Maybe they're fixing to go in the nursing home. Maybe they don't need the money. They'd kind of like to have that extra money coming in every month. That's a suspect. Maybe they're going to move in with the kids. You know, they want that, that little extra income so they don't have to count on their kids and they know if they put the money in the bank, the kids will be wanting it or whatever. They're a suspect. Maybe it's a person that's an investor that's getting out of it. Maybe they're older, they're tired of fooling with it. They don't want the calls for the plumbing problems or the electrical problems. But they like having that money coming in every month. They're a suspect. Because see, another thing, when this is a person that's an investor, now, I'm not giving you tax information. I'm not an accountant. But I do know this. When they sell it, they get all the money. They got to pay taxes on it. Now, if they finance it for you, they just pay taxes on it as the money comes in. It's a benefit for them. But the big is, when I go talk to a person for owner financing, I print out an amortization schedule. Now, you say, what's an amortization schedule? Some of you folks that's new may not know. That's a printout that shows every month when you make a payment, how much applies to principal, how much to interest. Well, we all know, if you don't, you're going to know at this video, you do a 30-year mortgage, the first several years are interest mostly. Same way on a 15-year, a lot of it's interest. Well, they could take that money and stick it in the bank, and the bank's going to pay them a small amount, or they can finance it for you, and they're going to make three, four times what the bank would pay them 
on their money. You show them that. Many times uh, they'd look at it and say, you mean I make this? Yeah, that's what you'll make. They've got a note and a mortgage. They're secured just like the bank. They are the bank. They're playing the bank when you use them for owner financing. It's a powerful tool, folks. I did it many times. I've even sold stuff in owner financed, and I made the interest. It's just another way of acquiring property that, to look at. It's all, you know, there's so many different ways to do business in real estate buying rentals or, and it works for flipping houses too if you're a house flipper you know even then sometimes that's even better you say look i'm gonna buy this piece of property from you i'm gonna make these improvements you're gonna have a better piece of property when i get through now if you decide to sell it that's your business just like with the bank you pay them off so anyway i thought i'd share this with y'all today i think it'd be helpful to you if you start looking for property that's not heavily mortgaged or doesn't have a mortgage and try to get owner finance. It's a good tool. It'll really help you. That's it. Anyway, give it a try. Now, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, go and follow me. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Anyway, I'll talk with y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good day.